हेलो माय फ्रेंड्स माय डियर वंस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अगेन एंड दिस इज मुकेश कुमार फ्रॉम यंग स्टड एप एंड आई विश यू वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर एंड मे दिस ईयर ब्रिंग्स लॉट्स ऑफ हैप्पीनेस जॉय लाफ्टर गुड हेल्थ एंड वेल्थ एज वेल सो दिस इज माय एपिसोड फोर वेर इन आई विल कवर अप कंटिन्यूशन पार्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग इन स्विफ्ट सो विदाउट डिलिंग एनी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड now move to next level that is indices indices means we will work with the index values of the string or a substring right so first we have start index right so how can i use it like my str dot start index yes it will return the index value of a starting for this string encoded offset to get its numeric value integer value right so here i got zero and at this zero index i need its character so for that what i need to do i need to type my str variable and within the square brackets i need to just paste this and just remove this offset value and here you can run so i have got the zero index value letter that is h right similarly i have index and index right and again just copy it and paste it and change this end index right and run it so 11 so we can count my str 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so what the actually end index returning it is returning after the last value index like i want to add more characters so of course this will not replace existing it will come followed by t that's why end index is returning the value after the last letter right so let's see uh, if i print this its value so what will come no you need to copy paste and just write it yeah let's see yeah it is showing error that means at 11th position there is no characters yeah that's why it is showing this error right so hope you got my point so for this rectification we have index after or index before so this will be our third point index before right how can i use this just type my str dot index before and type my str dot end index means print the value just before this right mm. so let's run it oh i need to comment this because this is showing the error so compiler will not go to this line oh yeah i need to encode offset value let's run it yeah this is showing 10 so how can i print its character at this position in the square brackets just i need to type again my str dot index before and to which before the end index value right just run it and t i'm getting right and fourth one we have index after like i want not the start index i want just after the uh, uh, start index so in that case i have after right my str dot index after to which after my str dot start index means w will return 
right so let's check the value first its value should be 1 after 0 yeah correct and now its value my str within the square brackets my str dot index my str start index because we need the value after the first value right so just run it and here i'm getting swift okay is the word of hello i thought this w <laughs> no problem now guess i want this space so how can i identify because i have identify first one last one second one from left and second last from right now in the middle what i will do for that i have a fifth property for the method that is index value and then offset yes now my str dot index this one here i need to specify i my str dot start index and let's say offset i want the space position that is fifth position zero one two three four fifth yes i need to specify five numeric five right so let's take the index value of it yeah five so let's print the space character my start index dot index with offset and my str dot start index and five just run it so here we will get space right we can also test by six so that we can get s yes by the way it is quite confusing but uh, as soon as you get in practice then you will know and it will be more e easier for you right so this is about the indices accessing the values by indices and now we will modify something like we will insert some values we will remove some values or we will replace some values so for that i'm specifying modification okay so first we have insert insert that because we are inserting right and how can i use that my str let's say use my str1 right and after dot keyword i'm typing insert this is insert at so i need to specify the character i want to insert like uh, s okay and at which position last position of my str1 and index right and let's print my str1 and see the output see my str1 value is high so s is added at the end right this way i can add a single character right but for more than a character like i can try this one s a this will not execute this will give error because this is for single character only right so just rectify it so for that we have another function insert content of right so let's write my str one dot insert this is content of you will get the collection here collection of characters means like uh, high space and there at which which position of course at the end right and again check the value of my str1 and run it see s is already added in the first in this query and then there is added right so this way we can insert the values right and now how can we remove or well, remove we have remove at right 
So I want to remove this S from my string. So just type it my str1 remove. I need to give variable name and its position by using index offset. So I want it from start is index and the offset is 2. Right now it is good. Hi there, S is removed. It is returning S. Right this way we can remove and this is for single character but for collection of characters we have another method and that is remove subrange right let's see my str1 dot remove subrange and now here we need to define a range like i need to take two variables that is let start value start equals to my str dot index my str one dot start index and I want, I want to remove there right so i will specify the offset three right for t and end is simply my str dot n index right this is the range so how can I specify this? Start three dot sorry double dot less than n index because n index will return the next value after the last character, right? But we want just previous one. Basically, we have two operators, new operators in Swift language. I'll show you in I'll mention it here, the description. Right, so I'm specifying the range. So let's see what will happen. Yeah, so there is removed but space is left so i need to specify if i need if i specify two so space will also remove yeah cool we can also we also have remove functions like remove first remove last remove all right so these are the important ones or confusing ones which i am describing here or discussing with you so next we have replace so for this sorry where let's take a new string new str and put the value like this is Swift programming, right? And I want this a string from this is Swift programming. So for that, I just need to type new str dot replace occurrence. So I'm giving the occurrence occurrence of this with it. I'll take this process into new string variable like so and now print your new str one let's run it and check so now it is swift programming right and now i want to change like swift only swift what i want to change so new str dot replace occurrence so i will specify the swift keyboard and we'll type like python Right, and take taking the whole value into new variable and then print it. Let's see, this is Python program. Good. So, this is about replace. So, I hope the string topic is very clear to you and you have learned a lot from this video. So I'll come back with another video, another topic. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Shabbat Wherever I go, wherever I see, I remember.